Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Samran Sagar as you all know and today we are going to discuss about the cutoff for NFSU and RWU for the courses like MSc Forensic Science, MSc Digital Forensics, MSc Cyber Security, MTech Cyber Security. Now before I get into this video and discuss about the cutoffs, I would like to give you some disclaimer. Those are neither NFSU nor RWU formally disclose their cutoff for any of their courses. Now whatever the score that I am going to discuss here in this video is going to be completely my analysis after I followed their merit list for the last three years. And this particular cutoff that I'm going to discuss here is going to be only for general category students. The general cutoff I'm going to discuss, I do not know or I don't have any proper answer for these of category students. Uh, what could what could be their cutoff for a particular course? Now talking about NFSU first, the cutoff depends upon a quite a few things and it can generally vary from year to year. Now what are those things? Those things are total number of students applying for for a particular course, the standard of question paper, the NPAT examination and the average marks of, of all the students obtained in NPAT. Now all the students who are applying for NPAT for a particular course, the average marks of them and for the courses wherein the admission is based on merit, that is your graduation marks, the average marks obtained by all the students applying for the particular course. Now these are the few things on which the cutoff of a particular year depends upon. Now for example, let me elaborate this particular point to you, let me explain you in detail so that it, it is easier for you to understand what I am actually trying to say. Now if there are 30 seats for a particular course and 100 students are applying for it and the admission in this course is through NPAT, now how will the cutoff be determined and what will be the cutoff? Now since there are 30 seats and the cutoff of these and the cutoff of this particular course depend on the marks obtained by these 100 students. So if the top 30 of them scored in between 60 to 70, the cutoff will be most likely to be 60. And this is how approximately the cutoff for a particular course is being determined. Now, I hope this particular criteria are clear to you or you, are, you have a bit more understanding about how the cutoff can be determined or how the cutoff is being determined for a particular course in a particular year. Now talking about the safer score that one should get in NPAD to be on the safer side to have high chances of getting admission in a particular course. Now keeping all these criteria in mind and after analyzing, and analyzing the last three year merit list, the conclusion that I came to you is that the score anything about 75 out of 100 could be a safer score to have high chances of admission in a particular course in a particular year. So please make sure that you have marks or that you obtain marks or that you make sure that you, sh that you get marks in the range of 70 to 75 out of 100 for any course that you are applying that would make you or that would give you high chances of getting admission in, a, in that particular course in NFSU. Now talking about RRU, in RRU the admission is purely based on merit. For postgraduate courses, the graduation marks or that the marks that you obtained in your graduation is will be considered in uh, making the merit list. And for uh, graduation courses, the marks that you obtained in class 12, uh, that would be considered. And for BTEC courses, your 12th marks plus your JE marks. So if you have a good JE score, that could act as an advantage for you. Now um, I myself am an alumna of RITU and during my time the cutoff for general category for MSc Digital Forensics went as low as 69% and in the same year for MSc Forensic Sciences it went as low as 77 to 78%. Now 3 years have passed down the lane and the number of applicants have increased and the seats also increased. So what I came to conclusion after analyzing the merit list for the last 2-3 years that if you have scored for uh, postgraduate degree courses like for MSc Digital Forensics and MSc Forensic Science anything about 80% 80% and above would act as a safer score for you and give you high chances of getting an admission in that particular course. So this was about the cut up or more I would like to say the, the safer score that would give you high chance of getting an admission into uh, NFSU or RRU. Now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, share it among your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.